<laughs> All right, everybody. So for this um, SDG, we're going to go with uh, decent work and economic growth in Japan. This will be my fourth. Uh, so G4. Here we go. All right. To start off with, I've got this graph to kind of show where various countries are in uh, public social spending as a share of GDP between 1880 and 2016. So as you can see up top, we got France. They're leading. They're leading the spending. And then Italy, Sweden, Japan's kind of right in the middle. So you know, not too good, not too bad. Just doing what they can to make it through. All right, on to the next. So, next uh, visual I'd like to talk about is total government <coughs> expenditure per capita. And this was back in 2016. And this is a, a visual of Asia. So, as we can see, Japan um, is uh, spending the most out of these Asian countries that I've brought up. So, this is uh, across all levels of government, and this includes intermediate consumption, compensation of employees, subsidies, property income, and social benefits. All right. Share of social protection in government expenditure. These are between the years of 2007 to 2015. Got a whole bunch of various countries on the board here. Japan, again. In the upper third, but still not first, Finland taking the lead in this one. This uh, includes social protection expenditures as a share of total general government spending. Social protection includes the following main areas. Sickness, disability, pensions, housing, unemployment, family, and children. So Japan spending some money on this stuff. Next diagram I'd like to show you. Social expenditure as a share of the GDP, and this is focusing just on Japan between the years of 1990 and 2015. And as you can see up top, family, then health, housing, inca incapacity, incapacity, <laughs> sorry, related, uh, old age, other social policy areas, survivors, unemployment, active labor market, and uh, policies, active labor market policies. Pretty interesting. So now, general government procurement as a percentage of GDP OECD between the years of 2007 to 2016. So, as you can see, Japan up top in this category, followed by United Kingdom, United States, and Mexico. These were just the countries that I picked out, so there could be people, definitely countries above Japan. Um, so, yeah, very interesting stuff. And now we have expenditures on general government outsourcing as share of GDP. Japan up top on this category as well. And these are, again, just countries that I have selected just to kind of uh, have more data and more uh, comparison to Japan. So under this, Sweden, France, United Kingdom, South Africa, South Korea, Italy, United States, and Mexico. Those are the countries that I chose. And this is the government outsourcing that includes goods and services used by governments, Accounting IT services as well as outsourced goods and services financed by governments. And here we have my little my little um, diagram to show my ideas of how we can possibly fix this. Big big topics that I included: increasing investment, uh, encourage entrepreneurship. I think that is important and would also help with quality education because you can have uh, classes being taught on entrepreneurship and how to run a successful business. Of course, increase in jobs, increase in technology development, and have good political leaders. I think that's very important to kind of guide the way of a country and um, in hopes to find decent work and economic growth in Japan. Thank you guys for watching my presentation. Hope you learned something. Uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it.